Insert that theme song right here. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. Uh, but anyways guys, I thought I'd do this sort of uh, quick little random video here. I just ordered these off of eBay, just doing a random search, and they were pretty cheap, and they just randomly popped up, so I was like, eh, why the hell not? Um, basically, I bought three Dragon Ball figures here that came in a lot. They cost $5 each, aka uh, $15 total for all three of these, and I was like, screw it, they're from 1995, uh, they look pretty cool. Just thought I'd uh, pick them up and show you guys what they are. We'll just uh, show you one to give you an idea of like how the package looks. Wants to focus, there we go. Pretty standard. Uh, <laughs> these figures are really tiny. Uh, they're about 2.5 inches tall, so they come on these sort of like uh, just blister pack card things. The old school Dragon Ball logo there, I think that was on some DVDs and VHS back in the day by Bandai. There's little PVC figures, not actually like action figures or anything. Basically, like little statues. There's the back of it, you can see all the characters right there. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, that uh, Walmart sticker. That's crossed out $1.76. Gosh darn it. Remember when Walmart had good prices, guys? Like this if you're watching this video in 2003. Anyways, um, I'm just going to open these guys. Um, I got three of them, like I said, so there's really no point in keeping them in package. I was going to, but I was like, eh, I'll just make a video that way. And be like, yeah, I did have them in package, but I opened them, so. Fuck it, let's do it. Bam! Alright. I have to kind of keep that in the back, otherwise the uh, flash just makes them not really appear that well on the camera. But there you go. Um, kind of find it interesting how out of all the figures uh, that this lot had, it was literally all uh, three of the female figures that you could possibly get. Uh, so you got Launch, Chi Chi, and Bulma as they appear in the original Dragon Ball. Uh, it's interesting to note that Launch's uh, outfit is a different color on the figure than it is on the box. Uh, not exactly sure why. Um, I think that she wears both of those colors actually in the show, so... I mean, either one's pretty accurate, I suppose. But if you want some uh, comparisons like other figures, here's like a Goku. He's about four inches tall. He came with like a, uh, one of those old toy, toy biz, or not toy biz, but uh, older figure set there. So he scales pretty well with them. I mean, he's a little tall, but uh, for further comparison, here's a freaking six inch Goku. A little bit more tall. So uh, he's from 2003, from like a, a Jack specific. Uh, there's, uh, speaking of which, uh, new Dragon Ball Super Toys by Bandai of America. So American figures, coming back. Finally, we've had to rely on figure arts to get our Dragon Ball figure fix. For the longest time, and now we're finally going to have affordable, uh, hopefully in like Walmart and Target, uh, Dragon Ball Super figures. From Beerus, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza. This video's done, I'm just rambling at this point, so thanks for watching guys. <laughs> um, this is a really quick unboxing, there's not really much to go around. Uh, there's more detail right there. In case you were wondering, yeah, they're painted. That's actually pretty good detail and little paint for the like little figure, especially considering they're like a dollar uh, seventy-six back in the day. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.